My name is Gerald and in this video I will show you the quickest way to create a pencil sketch like this using Photoshop. So let's begin. So this is the image we are going to be using. So open whatever image you plan on using. Then come to the layers panel down here. And press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. So this is the duplicated layer. So we have to desaturate this layer. So we shall come to down here to adjustments. Choose hue stroke saturation. Then come to this middle one under saturation and decrease it to negative 100. So that turns it black and white. Come back to your layer. Press Ctrl plus I to invert it. Now that it's inverted, come to the blend mode and change it to color dodge the next step you come to filter blur then select gaussian blur increase the the, the, the radius the radius pixels to for this image i'll be using 20 pixels 20 pixels works for me but you can adjust you can adjust it according to the image you are having. It could be 15, could be 20, could be 30. But for this image, I see the best is around 20. So I will go with that. Press OK. So you can see the image is now turning into a pencil sketch. So next thing we are going to do here, come back to adjustments down here. Select levels. Let's decrease the brightness by adjusting this middle one to the right. Yeah, I think this is perfect. Then come back to adjustments again. Choose brightness stroke contrast. So increase the contrast. I'll increase this by 100, but you can choose any value that is fit for the image you're using then decrease the brightness a bit yeah, I think this is okay now at this point we are somewhere but we still need to make it perfect we need to make it more realistic so let's merge all these layers because you know the more the layers the more confusion you get so come here right click and merge visible so this will merge all the layers together. Now we have one layer that has this image. So to continue the editing, let's duplicate this layer again. So press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. It will make a duplicate. So now we can adjust more on the duplicate layer. So to make our sketch more realistic, let's add some noise. So come and click on filter point at noise then click add noise I'll add the noise by 8% click OK so if you zoom in you can see the noise that has been added if I turn off this layer you can see the before and after so I hope you get the point so the next thing we are going to do is to sharpen our pencil sketch. So come back to filter, sharpen, choose smart sharpen. So I'll make some adjustments here. So as you can see, under amount, I've increased it to 355%, radius 2.7 pixels, and the noise reduction by 38%. So I think this looks awesome. Yeah, but depending on the image you are using, you can adjust this as you, you see the changes. So if you have the, 
the perfect the, the perfect result then you can hit okay so the next step we are going to make the hair look more like a pencil sketch so let's duplicate this layer ctrl plus j then come to filter click filter gallery then choose poster edges then you can zoom this out by pressing alt then click or you can press ctrl plus the minus key on the keyboard to zoom out so we are going to make some adjustments here under poster edges I think this is perfect for the hair so press ok so as you can see the effect has been applied to the whole image but we want it only on the hair so we are going to create a layer mask so come and click this button for layer mask so to apply a layer mask on, on, on this layer so grab your brush tool Brush tool is over here. Then make sure your foreground color is black and the background color is white. So make sure your opacity is 100% and flow is also 100%. So since we want only the hair, we shall paint. We shall paint black on the areas that we don't want. So let's start painting. And you, you can always increase the brush size or decrease it according to the area that you are painting. So you use the square bracket to increase or decrease the brush size. So let's do the painting. Now that we are done applying our layer mask, you can come and turn off this layer, click this eye icon, you can see the hair before and after. Yeah. So I think the hair is perfect. So let's merge these layers. So come here and right click and select merge visible. So we have all this under one layer. So there is one last adjustment that we are going to do. So, press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard to duplicate the layer again. So let's come here and select our dodge tool. Right click, then select dodge tool. So what this tool does, it, it lighted the, a particular area of the image. So you can see we, we have too much darkness in certain areas so we need to lighten them that's why we have selected the dodge tool so you brush it around make sure the exposure is at least 50 percent so you brush around the areas that you want to to lighten Then there, there are certain areas also that need darkening. So if you want to darken, you come to to this tool again, to the dodge tool again. Right click, then select burn tool. So the burn tool, it darkens specific areas of an image. So let's burn this area. Maybe the lips. I think this is perfect 
now that we are done let's merge these layers again so we right click and merge visible then to make it look more realistic come to filter select blur then choose Gaussian blur so you can blur this let's reduce the radius I think I'll go with two pixels so this one is it's a bit blurry it looks more realistic if you like this video please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any other content that we create and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you are notified whenever we post a video thank you for watching